Welcome back. Congress is idle this week due to the President's Day holiday, but there is a lot of work to be done in Washington once the recess ends. Joining us now to talk about what lies ahead next week is Congressman Don Manzullo. Thank Hi. you, Congressman, Good for to joining be here. us. Good to be here. Obviously, job creation is going to take center stage next week. How confident are you that things will actually get done? Well, the problem is that Congress cannot create jobs. Government cannot create jobs. Government can only create the opportunity, the environment in which jobs would naturally grow. And unfortunately, with things like cap and trade uh, and the health care bill that passed and the uh, EPA taking over uh, carbon emissions, that's creating an unhealthy environment that has actually destroyed jobs in our congressional district. So government has to back away. Uh, has to let this, um, this economy try to recover a lot of it on itself. And you, you do that uh, through stopping the massive s uh, spending that's been going on in Washington. Uh, the more spending that goes on, uh, the more the debt increases, the less likelihood uh, there will be uh, tax decreases. That means less money goes into the private sector. And with the credit crunch going on, plus a lot of money that's, that's, that normally should be there, it's very difficult, even for companies that are expanding, and some are to get credit in order to, in, in order to expand and make the products. But there's 23,000 people in Rockford that <clears throat> would want a job that right. can't get it right now. That's correct. And you're saying there's really no action that well, you can do Congress-wise well, to can, get things done? What has to be done is that we have to re restart the supply chains of manufacturing. Uh, we can't buy our way out of this recession. We have to manufacture our way out of it. And instead of Congress coming up with plans such as uh, paying employers uh, to hire people, Employers will only hire people when there's a demand for the product. But there's some good news out there. Uh, the Institute for Supply Management is up now for the sixth or seventh month in a row. That means that, that manufacturers are starting uh, 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 the supply chains going again. The biggest problem that I see, and I talked to one of the regulators today, uh, is the credit crunch. Uh, I know of businesses that, that, that have orders coming in. Um, could make products, could hire people, but, but there's a, a huge slug in the line of the credit coming um, into the market. A lot of that has to do um, with, the, with the environment that we have here in this country. Uh, we know of many companies that, rather than expand here, have decided they're going to set shop overseas uh, because they don't like the fact of cap and trade, additional taxes coming on. So we have to make it as easy as possible. Uh, for uh, companies to hire people. And meanwhile, we provide the safety nets of uh, providing for the extensions of workers um, uh, of, of, un of unemployment insurance. Okay, but I'm confident, I'm confident that we're going to work our way out of this thing. It's going to take time, but we'll do okay. it.